In this lesson, we're going to look at one more way to control an image called a graduated filter. I want you to do this. Go into the develop folder and select this image right here and go into develop. Now in this image, basically I have a problem in that the sky is, I guess it's okay, but the front needs to be lightened up a little bit. In other words, I need to control this image in pieces. I want one area maybe to stay the same while I'm making another area lighter. And there's more than one way to do this. But one way to do this is if you've got these linear lines to work with, which we do, is the graduated filter. So it's right here. Now when you select it, basically you get these different effects right here. Now you might not see this. If you click this button right here, it collapses them. Open it again, there they are. Temperature, exposure, all kinds of things. Before I begin using the tool, if everything is set exactly like this, I will have a difficult time figuring out exactly how to set it. So I usually take one of them and change it some before I start, like exposure. I come over here and begin drawing. What it's doing is in a sense, and you can't really see this, but it's drawing a gradient. And the gradient that it's drawing is controlling the areas that it's going to change from here down and from here up. So in this case, I drew it and I dragged it up because it's going to go and change things down this way. So I'm going to pick up the pin right here. I'm going to drag that down to about, say, there. I can make this a little bit bigger by dragging here, or I can go to the edges right here. I can change it this way. If you're rotating it, the best thing to do is get as far away from the pin as you can because it makes it easier to make the exact rotation that you want. And again, I can get up here and I can move it and stretch it out if I want to make that effect more gradual. I want to keep that down to about there. Actually, that doesn't look too bad so far. So we're going to leave that alone for the moment. Once I have it fixed like that, I can change it anytime I want. I can now come over here and watch what happens. See, now I can watch exactly what it's doing. Now, I do want to lighten up those areas. I really would like those to be a little bit lighter. Go down to sharpness here. Watch this. Well, I'm trying to maybe change the entire perspective of the image, in a sense, to make it look more like I had the lens open when I shot the photo, so the boathouse is out of focus and everything else is going into focus. So everything I do here will be controlled by that linear gradient. Now, I do want to bring it down just a little bit, maybe like that, so it's not affecting that water as much. Something maybe like that. And I think I'll bring this down just a little bit more like this so we don't get that effect over here on the corner. Now, I like that. We can come back and work on it if we want to. But I want to pop the sky a little bit too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another one. Well, you can have as many as you want. And I'm going to get right about here. But I'm going to pull it this way because I want to impact the sky. Now, it's way too much, but I'm not going to worry about that. And it also is blurred because it remembers the last thing I did, which was sharpness. And again, don't worry about that. Let's start right about there. I'm going to bring it up to about there. And let's go ahead and see if I can hit that angle. Kind of look at the tree line. Maybe something like that. Okay. Now, with that, where I've got it, I'm going to come over here and definitely I'm going to go exposure the other way. And I do need my sharpness back. I would like my clouds to look like clouds. Maybe a little bit more clarity. Saturation. We can make them gray if we want to. Interesting effect, I suppose. Come more this way. Now, I want something else here. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know what I want, but I want it. And I want some difference in the color of the sky. Now, you do have down here a button. This one right here. If you click that button, it opens up your colors. And I could come over here and click and make that sky more orange. Kind of in the blues mood today, so maybe more in the blues. And then we can use this option right here to raise or lower it. Put it exactly where you want it to be. And then we go ahead and close it right here. And if we want to see the before and the after, come over here and click this little switch right here. And you come back and say, well, I don't know. I think the oranges were better. Well, just click here again. Come over, say, into here. Much warmer, more like a sunset. Turn it on and off if you want to see it. You say that's a little bit too surrealistic, Andy. Come back again and lower it down by using this. So maybe it's not quite so intense. Or maybe you want it to look surrealistic. Up to you. The graduated filter allows you to control in a linear sense, almost like a line, things on one side of the line as opposed to things on the other side of the line. 
That's what linear gradients do. And that's what linear adjustments do.